Oh dear. I'll just kick the bucket. Tom's just kicked the bucket. Well, <laughs> where are we? We're in Nantwich. There's people around. Now, I sneaked out early this morning while you were still asleep. Yeah, and what I, did you do? I went to the church service. You know, this is a. Can't swear to the lady and gentleman. Go on. I went to the church service and got down on all four knees, because I took her with me as well, Yeah. and prayed that there aren't as many numpties on the canal as there were yesterday. <laughs> I, I, I'm on about the one that... The, the, Which one? The, the higher boat the, that tried the to demolish Bar The day bridge. boat that tried to kill us? Yeah. Or, or the higher boat that tried to kill the bridge? Which one? Both. Okay. And anyone in between. So to we're be, going to be honest though, uh, hello. The the one that hit the bridge didn't really worry me the one that you know, killed us. No, I think I think when they take it when they take it back they'll say to the hire company the good news is your license will be a lot cheaper next year because we've shortened the boat by a foot. Because <laughs> that's what happens when you ram a solid object <laughs> full pelt. Anyway, if if you if you watched the previous video, you will have seen it. To be honest, it, only, it was only a little bit damaged. It didn't look that bad. What the boat or the wall? Well, the boat. No, the wall. Yeah, I'm on about the boat. Anyway, we're heading in that direction, which is um, towards Audlem. We're not. We're, we're taking it easy because I can only do three hours a day these days, with Mr. Wibbly Wobbly. So shall we? Shall we toss ourselves off? You're so rude. Hello. Hello. Oh, we've left Nantwich behind us. Whoa. Hey, when you go on the bridge, it like booms the, the engine. That boat was coming this way, and I, I waited over there, and I flashed my headlights at him. I don't know if that's a recognised nautical manoeuvre. And well, it's something. It's a recognised something. He, he said. He said. Thanks for waiting. I said, I'm trying to reintroduce gentlemanly behaviour onto the canal, but I seem to be on my own at the moment. Well, that was unfair because you have been a gentleman. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, mister. I meant me and you. Because everybody else... You remember... You know the fun fair? Dodgems. Yeah. Do you know what all, what they're also called? Bumping cars. Yeah, when I was a kid, they were called bumping cars, and the idea was to go around ramming as many as well, you that's could. What, that's what I thought you were supposed to do. No, you're supposed to dodge them. But I think there's a lot of people on the canal that don't realise that it's not ah, dodge you knew who I bought it, blame. Yeah, Timothy West. Because what did he always call this? A contact, contact sport. sport. I know. I love him as a person, love him as, you know, everything, misses and everything, but... Contact sport, no, don't, don't give him an opportunity to say things like that because people actually take it to heart. Yeah, but we're having a beautiful cruise. What we've discovered, because we were more just, just half a mile. Discovered, we already knew this. Well, what we've confirmed this morning is it was quite busy where we were moored. But everyone, it was the same boats coming back. They were all coming down and yeah, turning in that turn one unofficial winding hole and then going back again. It looks more like a nature's reserve than a winding hole. Well hopefully now we shouldn't get any strays. <laughs> oh. well, Hack Green's the next, next adventure. I love Hack Green locks. What? I'm just saying Hack Green's the next adventure and I, lo I love Hack Green locks. Anyway. We've just had a close shave. It'd be wonderful if the CRT ever came down here with like tree loppers or yeah, something. Yeah, but they can't because it's better for the environment than I'll say. Oh, that's what I say about our garden when I don't do it. It's called rewilding. I think the world's wild enough, don't you? Or is that just the people? Well, the top of our garden is. I well, think the biggest, reserve. yeah, the biggest thing I've seen in there is a hippopotamus. What? what? When they were redoing the fences? Ooh. What's worse than a speeding day boat? An overly cautious day boat who stopped and then got caught by the wind. Oh well. 
Ilea. The wind is picking up. The first trip we had on that about pottery is when we we bought her from Stafford and took her to uh, Nantwich at the end of February and beginning of March three years ago and we left in Storm uh, Freya and arrived in Storm Gareth and we came down this we've got a wonderful video from the period it was blowing horizontally across the canal and we had coal, bags of coal on the roof to keep the canopy from blowing away and we were actually cruising the to oh a Mars bar we're, thank, thank you we were actually cruising at a 45 degree angle going in a straight line and I kept saying to you keep going you went no I can't oh it was oh, for God's sake just keep going well I'm just thinking that there's a narrow point coming up and you know there's loads of abandoned bridges on this section of canal and if you, yeah, it's rude to talk with your rifles. And we were having to get some speed up, coming in horizontally, and then flick it in a vertical line to get through the. Oh yeah. Oh, we know how to live, don't we? We know how to cry. <laughs> oh God. It's a. <laughs> we're getting into geese territory. Quack quack. Actually, they do bark, don't they? That one in our marina, yeah. Arnie barks like a dog anyway you're weird more later could be a lot of swearing here uh, that green lot number two I think we've got quite a vicious overflow no. No, not too bad. we've done on this trip Whee. and it's the second lock we've done without touching the sides might be getting the hang of this not bad considering Mr Wibbly Wobbly this is when magic happens on the canal it's two locks a couple hundred yards apart we're in lock number two there's a boat waiting to come out of lock number one and we'll just go whew, straight in. Wonderful. Bit of unpleasantness at lot number one, Pat Green. The chap who was in it was waiting for us to come out of that lock, but somebody came down and wanted him to get out so they could fill it lock and waste a lock full of water. And they were all in so much of a hurry to get down that they've all buggered off now. So we're not rushing. Well, if we were rushing, ooh, 
We're not Russian. That's the secret bunker over there. I think Tom's found the Karen. Karen! Goose territory again. If we stay near here, you leave our roof alone. Yeah, I know. I know you're just the sighting party for the rest of them. There's a big black boat here. That's all crap on it. I've seen. I've seen you before. Can't. You can't surprise me. I'm a pensioner, you know. Today on the Moan Show. We're not moaning. We're, those are the visitor morons at Cool Pilot. Cool we're we're um, a little bit busy, but I think people get ready to go actually when we're past. Yeah, but we know we know there's a quieter, more ethical. Please, you sound like certain um, people I don't like. You, you don't know everything. You don't know nothing. We've been in, we, we've been to a morning that's quite nice. We're hoping it's going to be available now. That's all you need to know. I think that's all I was going to say. No, because you would be in the big, oh, well, we know a nice place. Oh, you mean those people? Yeah, and I don't want you being like those. People. God, no. Don't say them. Don't say the name. Anyway, we've stayed here before when we met the Batman. The and Batman? We're, and we're hoping... I want to go back, back to the Batman. ...that there's room. I wonder if he'll be... Is the Batman... Because I didn't get to meet him because you and me had a row and, and, and I weren't speaking to you. And then I... Because of that... I, I can't believe that, that ever happens. We had a row this morning. Oh yeah. We had a row last night. But just, 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 just look at that. It, it's a row a day keeps the doctor away. Well, not always. How am I doing your side? This is, this is that bridge that jumps out on you. It doesn't. When you're not looking. Properly. Anyway, I rest my case. It's a very straight, very oh, relaxing. Oh, he never does. Hi, baby. I don't like nature, you know. I do like nature, just not the things that bite me. Have you ever used a toilet in Turkey? I've never been to Turkey. No. Well, if you don't like things that bite, you don't. Is he chasing up? We're under attack. <laughs> Listen, I didn't know she was your wife. I'm sorry. She weren't any good anyway. No. I'm warning you. And if it's mine, I'm not paying for it. We've got double barrel shotguns mounted at the back, aiming yeah, in your direction. Right, it was this one that was across the other side of the bridge. I don't know how they get away with it, but are we on? Yeah. You videoing there? Eh? And a posse. And if you think you're having any bread after you've been spitting at my dog, you can forget it. And if you want to keep your beak in your feet, I suggest you keep away from that thing. <laughs> oh God. It's a long time since we've been attacked by swans, isn't it? You've not been attacked, it's been followed a little bit. No, I said it's a long time since we've been attacked by oh, swans. Okay. Oh, oh, I spoke too soon. Hello. Oh, you are clever, aren't you? No, don't get the Wimbledon umbrella out. Just, uh, oh, oh, my dear. Are we in 2020 now? I can see your number. I'm going to have a word with the Queen. Get the other camera out, Tom. Tell them we're reporting them to the Rosses. What a swap! The Canal Rosses.
Right, we've had a bit of a problem with the power bank and at some point this camera died so we don't know if we captured the swan attack but where are they? Well, not a swan attack, just people. Oh, right, they're setting up a pincer movement. There's one here, there's one there you taking know up the rear. You're just the other side of the rear, don't you? Is it? Oh. And there's one taking up the... Not perhaps, perhaps they're just giving us a, an escort. Yeah, but like I say, John, you know we're mooring up pretty soon, don't you? Yeah. Just be mad you, because what he normally does is, right, he goes, pass, 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 and, goes, and then he reverses. Well, you know that's not right, because I, I, I never go fast anywhere. Right, not fast, but, no, but, I said pass, not fast. Oh, all right. Anyway, he goes past it, and then has to reverse, and it's me that's bloody pulling. No, it wasn't. Anyway, we, can you thank these swans very nicely and tell them that, um... Because he's grown it out a bit, I keep grabbing it. Do you know, I'm going to complain to the Santa Claus Union about you. <laughs> you know I'm a pensioner, don't mm -hmm. you? <laughs> it's just so squishy. Oh, can, can I just can I just say to Vicky in Australia, who was asked if she can come and spend a couple of weeks on the boat with us? She get bored of me, won't she? Well, I did say that she probably wouldn't be able to cope with you for two weeks. But you, you're quite welcome any time. Apparently I'm a bit of a drama queen, but I don't see that. A little bit. There's another one of them things that isn't a thing in front. Have we still got our outriders? Oh yeah. I'm going to have a word of the Queen about that. Ethel's done a celebratory poo and she's tying Tom up in knots. Did you get that? She nearly had me on the floor. Yeah. Oh she's <laughs> So this is where this is where we met Batman a few months ago. And to be honest, it knocks spots off cool powers. I like it. I like it better than down there. Well It's near the thingy bob, which is how many miles it's in, aren't we? Yeah, it's 34 to Orderly. Mm -hmm. I know, and it's, it's five miles to Nantwich. That's a depressing thought. If we, well, we're not going all the way to Orderly anyway, we're only going to Brood. So, here ends today's cruise. And all who sail in Oh, the McMafia, the swans, have, they've all buggered off, they follow. <laughs> They're running everybody out of town. They've been watching too much EastEnders, I think. Anyway, oh, they're all down there. Oh, they're regrouping. Oh, we're all doomed. <laughs>